Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to section 10. Hi, in this lesson, we will study Hello. Hello. Good evening, can you hear me? No, it seems we're having trouble with the audio, maybe with the microphone or something. Hello, William. 
I still cannot hear you. Maybe you're having trouble with the microphone, I guess. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you, Rafael? Hi, teacher. And you, teacher? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. How was the weekend? Fine, very relaxed. And, and make a exercise uh, the, the platform for oh okay you continued yes. working in the platform did you finish uh, estoy en, lo, en el examen ya final okay. de, del cinco. all right that's good you're in the final test already great yes. thanks and what else did you do did you do Rafael? excuse me what else did you do apart from working in the platform? Uh, what did you do on the weekend? The, 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 the exam, the final exam, exam uh, section, section five. Okay. All right, that's good. Excellent. Okay. Hasta cuando tenemos para, para finalizar? We are finishing on Thursday the 17th. That is the last day, but yeah, hopefully you could finish before that. It would be wonderful if you could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Good evening, Hector. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Great. How was the weekend? Um, relax. Okay, that's nice. What did you do? Uh, I watched some movies. Stay home. All right. Uh, <clears throat> work in the platform. Great. I am in the, in the final exam, but uh, I have some trouble with section on the scramble words. Oh, you're having trouble with that one? Um, do you yeah. remember which ones exactly? We could check it now if you'd like to. Okay. Just... Okay, let me get it then. I have, I, I, I am only so one. <laughs> okay. All right. So you're having trouble with this part, letter D, I guess. Is that right? Yeah, I in yeah, the in section D. Okay, so we'll check it. Let's see. I have problem with and the only uh, I, I try to do this one. Does Sam have a mustache? Um, um how does um, um yeah does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses, but I, I don't know why. Well let me check with my Okay. With my answer. All right. 
Because I sold the, the only that I can sold is the, <clears throat> is the number three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, um, so in the first one we got, Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. And here, I remember we didn't need the, the period. So it's only that. Christy is really gorgeous ah, maybe. in her 30s. Yeah, here you do not need a period because you already have one over here. Uh, maybe one. I didn't put the period. No, you don't have to put it. In this case, you don't have to uh, put it because you already have it here. And over here you have yeah, a question mark. And so you should just avoid it. Then in the second one, we got does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? I, I can load my, my exam yet, but uh, okay. don't I, worry. I remember that I put this, this word. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Good evening. Uh, can you repeat the number one? Sure. It goes like yes. Christy is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Or you could put it the other way like um, Christy is in her 30s and she is really gorgeous and, and really gorgeous. Okay. So it could Thank be you. both ways. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then Hector, did you get it? Oh, okay, let me. We still, uh, yes, I put similar like this. So number one goes like Krista is really gorgeous and in her thirties. Number two, does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? Number three is Cindy has long red hair and is medium height. And the last one would be like, who's the person sitting on the couch next to Jason? That's how it goes. Let me submit it and see what it says. Yes, we got them. So let me repeat them one more time. We got number one, Chris is really gorgeous and in her 30s. Number two, does Sam have a mustache and wear glasses? So over here, uh, what you have is two different sentences or two different verbs, two different actions in the same sentence, actually. So you should first construct the first one or build the first one. Like, does Sam have a mustache? And then you have another, um, let's say, action, another verb, which is wear. So what does he wear? Glasses, right? So you got both things, have a mustache and then wear glasses. Same happens in the first one, is gorgeous and also is in her 30s. The next one is the same thing, has long red hair and is medium height. And over here we got a different thing, but still, let me tell you the answer. It's who's the person on the couch, sitting on the couch next to Jason? Is that clear? Hector? Uh, yes. Okay, if you still have any other questions or doubts, you can just text me in WhatsApp, okay? Okay. All right. So good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Welcome good evening, class. teacher. Good evening. So welcome to our last week of classes. We're almost done with this course. We're just missing uh, four classes, including this one, right? So it's exciting. Um, well, we are going to start, first of all, by going to the platform and practicing a conversation we have over here. So let me play it. I need you to listen, pay attention to the conversation, and tell me if you have any questions when I stop it, OK? So please pay attention. Everybody. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. 
Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so take a look at the conversation and tell me if you have any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any of the words you see there. Any questions? No questions. Okay, so let me play it one more time. I need you to listen to the right pronunciation. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so now it's time to practice a conversation. Let me ask Edwin and Gladys. Can you read the conversation, please? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. It's, it's great to see you. Tom, ha, had you been in New, in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I have already been to one. Oh, well, oh, well how about you ride a tour? I like to. Oh, I have already done that too. Have you ride in the air? Oh, sorry, uh, strict or oh. strict car? A strict car? They a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, thanks Gladys and Edwin for reading. Now I need everybody to repeat. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. Okay. A few days. A few days. Excited. 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 Ready. Already. Ready. Already. 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 I've. 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 Riverboat. 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 Okay, now say riverboat tour. Riverboat tour. Tour. Reading. Reading. Street car. Street car. Car. Street car. Street car. 
street car. Street, street car. car. Okay, car. now let me ask two people to read the conversation. That would be Karina and Franklin. Is that okay? Okay. okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's great to see you, Dub. Have you been in New York, New Orleans long? I have a few days and really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I I already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? There are a lot of funny fun. Actually, that's show I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Thank you, Karina and Franklin. Now repeat, please. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. New Orleans. I'm. I am. I'm. 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 Kent. 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 I've. 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 There. There. there, that's, that's, that's. Riverboat. 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 Reading. Reading. Streetcar. Streetcar. Actually. Actually. Actually, not really. Okay, let me have one more pair to read. That would be Rafael and Karen Briseida. Okay, teacher. It's great to see you, Top. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I am really excited to, to be hers. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Oh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden in the streetcar? They are a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything, anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Great. Thank you, guys. Okay, let me play the video one last time for you to check for pronunciation. Please pay attention to the words that you um, find a, a little difficult or complicated. It's an in practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, so today we are going to start with a new topic, as you may have seen in the platform already. We're studying the present perfect. Um, and I want to ask you, have you ever studied the present perfect before? Have you? 
sé si este tema ya lo habían cubierto en alguno de los niveles o es esta la primera vez que lo ven. Si me confirman, por favor. Es primera vez, teacher. It's the very first time. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're studying the present perfect and the first thing that we need to know in order to talk about this tense is the past participle. So um, normally we talk about three different forms of the verbs. The first one is the present form or the base form. Then the second one would be the simple past form. And the third one is the past participle. En cada uno de los verbos tenemos tres formas distintas. La primera sería la forma base o el infinitivo, que es el que manejamos como, como los que ven acá, ¿verdad? Walk, cook, visit, start. Luego tenemos las formas yeah. pasadas, que son el simple past. Walked, cooked, visited, and so on. Y tenemos una tercera forma que se llama past participle. Esta tercera forma en los, en los verbos regulares se maneja igual que el pasado. Es decir, agregamos ED. Por ejemplo, acá en walk sería... Walk it. Walk. Walk it. Or walk. Walk. Or walk. Walked. Walk. For cook, we would have... Cook. 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 Exactly. For visit, we have... Visited. 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 Start becomes started. 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 Finish. Finish it. Finish. Finished. Live. Oh, fin live. 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 Lived. Like. 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 It. Liked. Close. Closer. Close. Closed. Arrived. 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 Dance. 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 Danced. Cry. Cry. Cried. Try. Tried. 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 Cry. Carry. Sorry. Carry. Carry. Carried. Play. Played. 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 Enjoy. 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 Stay. 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 Stop. 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 Plan. 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 Prefer. Preferred. Preferred. Yeah. 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 That is right. So as you see, we keep the same forms of the simple past in the case of the regular verbs. Now let's practice pronunciation. Please repeat. What? 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 Cooked. 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 Visited. 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 Started. 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 Finished. 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 Lived. 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 Liked. 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 Closed. Close. A ride. A ride. A ride. Dance. 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 Cried. 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 Carried. Carried. Played. Played. Enjoyed. 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 Stayed. 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 Stopped. Stop. 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 Planned. 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 Preferred. 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 Yogged. 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 
So in the case of the regular verbs, we just keep the same simple past forms and we also pronounce them the same way, right? Now let's see what we have for the irregular verbs. Well, in the case of the irregular verbs, we would have um, different kinds of past participle forms. They um, change in different forms, so the only way to actually learn them is to memorize them, to learn them by heart. So you should just keep on practicing them and try to just memorize all the verbs that you can, all the past participle of verbs that you can. And here, for example, in the case of begin, do you know what the past begun. participle is? Begun. Begun, begun. right? So as you see, it's different from the from the past form, right? In that case, we would have the first form, which is the base form or infinitive, begin. Then the past began. form is began. Begun. And the past participle would be begun. Begun. Begin, began, begun. Begin, began, begun. Begin, began, begun. Begun, begun, begun. Begun, begin, began, begun. That's how begun. it goes. Begun. And the past participle of break, do you know it? Broke. Broken. 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 That's right. Broken. Build. <laughs> build. Build. That one remains the same. So we have build, build, build. Then we have buy. What's the participle? Bold. Bold. But. Buy, but, but. Catch. Cut. Cut. Catch, cut, cut. The past participle of choose is chosen. Chosen. We got choose, chose, chosen. Choose, choose. Then we have cut. What's the past cut. participle? It cut. The same, right? We got cut, cut, cut. Then draw. What's the past participle? Oh. Brown. Brown. We got draw, drew, drawn. Drink. Drunk. 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 Drink, drank, drunk. Then we have drive. Driving. Driving. Driven. We say driven. driven. So it's drive, drop, driven. Then we have fall. Falling. Falling. Fall, fall, fail, falling. Then we have feel. What's the past part? Felt. 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 Feel, feel, felt. Find. Found. Found. Find, found, found. Forget becomes. Forget. Forgotten. 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 We got forget, forget, forgotten. Give. Given. Given. Give, gave, given. Here. Heard. Heard. Exactly. We say heard. here, heard, heard. No becomes no. None. Read exactly. Oh. We have no new none. Then we have lose. Lost. 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 Lose, lost, lost. Pay. Paid. Pay. Paid. It's the same as the simple past. Then we have read, which becomes read. Red, right? Just remember that we change the pronunciation. Read, red, red. Ah. Then we have write. Write them. Reading. Write, reading. Wrote, reading. Run. Run. It's the same thing. We have run, run, run. Then we have the verb say. How do we change it? Oh. Say. Say. Exactly. Say said. Then we have see. It becomes. So. Seen. That is a simple past. So and then seen. Exactly. We say see, so, seen. Then we have sing. What's the past participle? Song. Song. Sing, sang, song. Speak. Spoke. Uh, spoken. Spoke. Speak, spoke, spoken. Then we got swim. Swim. 
swam swims one sum tell told told exactly say tell told told and think becomes so that think that that and then we have yeah. great greeting 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 Written. that's right we have great great greeting and understand understood 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 that is right now repeat after me please begun become become broken 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 built built but but out cut 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 chosen chosen cut 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 run run drunk Drunk. Drunk. Driven. 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 Falling. 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 Felt. 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 Found. 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 Forgotten. 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 Given. 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 Heard. 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 None. No. 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 Lust. 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 Paid. 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 Read. 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 Reading. Reading. Run. Run. Said. 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 Sin. Sin. Sung. 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 Spoken. 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 Swam. Swam. Told. 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 Thought. 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 Gritten. 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 Understood. Understood. Okay, so as you see for the regular forms, for the regular verbs, we have different forms. So it's important for us to practice them and learn them by heart. So please keep on practicing this form of the verbs because we're going to need them for making the present perfect sentences. So let me continue with this. Now let's talk a little bit about the present perfect. In the affirmative form, um, well, first of all, the use of the present perfect. The present perfect is used to indicate a link between the present and the past. It's not only talking about past, but there's also a link between the present and the past. So we're not just talking about something that happened yesterday, but something that is related in some way to the present. Then we also have that the time of the action is before now, but not specified. That means that whenever I use the present perfect, I do not mention a specific time when I did something. I just men mentioned that something has happened, but I am not really interested in saying when it happened. Then another thing that we should keep in mind is that we are often more interested in the result than in the action itself. So I'm just interested in mentioning that I have had that experience, but not exactly um, in telling about how it was, when it was, and all of those details. Here I have the structure for the sentences. First of all, we use the subject. Then the auxiliary that we are going to use in the present perfect is have. So we have the two different forms, right? We have have for I, you, we, and they, and has for the third person, she, he, or it. After the, the auxiliary verb have or has, I need the past participle of the verb, and then I add a complement. Here I have some examples. 
We have traveled to Japan before. We have traveled. You see, we use the subject, we. Then we use have, which is the auxiliary. And then I use the past participle in the case of travel because it's regular. I only add ed, then I have traveled. And then the complement to Japan before. We have traveled to Japan before. Hemos viajado a Japón antes or anteriormente. Then we have another example. She has eaten snake. She has eaten snake. Ella ha comido culebra. <laughs> then we have, it has rained a lot this year. It has rained a lot this year. Ha llovido mucho este año. So as you see, we always use the auxiliary have or has. And then we have the past participle of the verbs, travel, which becomes traveled. Then eat, which becomes eaten. In rain becomes rained. And I have another example. It says, I have been to a couple of concerts. I have been to a couple of concerts. He ido a un par de conciertos. So we're, uh, we're talking about things that happened in the past, but that are related to the present because um, in, they may happen one more time. They may happen again. Estamos hablando de experiencias del pasado, son cosas que en realidad las hemos hecho anteriormente, pero que eh, no nos interesa en realidad decir en qué momento lo hicimos, como les decía en el uso, eh, no estamos interesados en especificar el momento en que lo hicimos, no hablo directamente de lo que hice ayer, ni tampoco de lo que hice el año pasado, ni nada de eso, sino que simplemente estoy diciendo que algo ha pasado. Por ejemplo, que yo he viajado a Japón. No le estoy diciendo cuándo viajé, ni con quién viajé, ni si me gustó o no me gustó. Simplemente estoy diciendo que ya tuve esa experiencia. Lo mismo pasa con la segunda oración. Ella ha comido culebra, o sea, quiere decir que la ha probado, ¿verdad? Estoy simplemente mencionando ese hecho. No estoy realmente detallando el momento en que eso pasó, ni estoy dando mayor información. Y también se utiliza para momentos donde no, para, perdón, para periodos de tiempo, digamos así, que no han terminado. Por ejemplo, si digo que ha llovido mucho este año, porque este año aún no termina, entonces podría ser que siga lloviendo en el resto de, de los de los días que faltan para que acabe el año, y por ende, pues es un tiempo eh, que no ha finalizado. Then another thing that we need to keep in mind is that we also have a contracted form. For have, we use apostrophe and then ve. And for has, we use apostrophe s. Then we have, for example, we have, we become, we've traveled to Japan before. And she has eaten snake, we become, she's eaten snake. So those will be the contractions that we could use in the present perfect. We use have or has, web or she's, it's in this case, and notice that it's the same as the, as the verb be, right? In el caso de la tercera persona del has, queda igual que en el verb be. Acá, por ejemplo, she's, como el she is, sería la misma contracción. Sin embargo, vamos a saber cuando estamos utilizando el present perfect, porque después del she's, o del his, o del it, va a tener el past participle, exactly. Okay, so now let me send you to the breakout rooms for a couple of minutes. You are going to have a little practice. You're going to make some sentences using the prompts I give you. Tell me. I have a question. Okay. 
en la, en la última oración que, que acabamos de ver. Let me go back. Que, this one. Sí, donde dice, I have been to a couple of concerts. Yes. ¿Por, ¿Por qué no se ocupa el pasado de go? Sí se puede. I have gone. Simplemente estoy utilizando el verb be, que también es una posibilidad. Pero si usted quiere utilizar go, se puede. I have gone to a couple of concerts. It will be the same. Acá ah, estoy o sea diciendo, que también... he estado en algunos conciertos. Si lo cambia a go, he ido. So it would be the same at the end, but it all depends on how you want to say it. Ah, es que, es que escuché yo que usted lo, al principio lo tradujo como yo he ido. Ah, sí, sí, sí. En realidad, o sea, estaríamos hablando de lo mismo, ¿verdad? Solamente ahí podemos variar los verbos. Ok. Okay, so I was telling you, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms for you to practice a little bit by making sentences using the prompts I give you. For example, in the first one, we got the information we and miss the train. How do we make a sentence using the present perfect? Remember that we start with the... We have, have missed... We have missed... The train. The train. That's how it goes. We have missed the train. And also remember that here we can use the contracted form with. We've missed the train. Okay, so that's why what, what I want you to do. Let me send you a picture to the to the WhatsApp group and let me send you to the breakout rooms right now. Here you go. Con doble D, ¿verdad? Sí. Se traduciría como yo he, he manejado o yo he viajado en motocicleta. Sí. Yes. En la primera, ¿cómo se traduciría eso? Hemos olvidado el tren o algo así. Hemos ese perdido. Mismo, sí. ese mismo. Hemos perdido hemos el ah, tren. Hemos perdido el tren. Uh -huh. Like uh -huh. when you uh -huh. miss the bus uh -huh. in the morning. Acá. <risa> 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 y todos los días llegamos tarde. That's right. <risa> ok. La segunda sería... 
I have written, I have written a motorcycle. No, no, pero sí, perdón, la tercera me refería. A la tercera. Ajá, uh -huh. he has. We won, he has won the, the lottery. The lottery. He has won. Okay. El tercero dijeron We has We has He has won He has won Yes Right. In a hot air balloon. They have flying in hot air balloon. Yes, the past participle of fly is flown. Fly flew flown. Fly flown flown. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. Okay. They have. Mm -hmm. um, Fly flu flung, see. Fly flu flung. <coughs> la, la número seis sería. <coughs> she has. She has um, broken. Broken. A world record. La otra sería. Entonces la tercera sería. He, he has. He has. Ajá. He has. Es el win, ¿verdad? Win. No sé por cuál es el paso de win. Ajá. Yes. Creo que... It's one. Win one. Yeah. One. Ajá. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo se escribe? It's W-O-N. Ok. Entonces sería, he was won the lottery. He has won the lottery. That's right. Okay. Uh, one. Number four. A plan. in Russia. It, it has. Oh, it, it has. Uh, no sé cómo queda la cuatro. Creo que es it. It has it a plan. It, 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 it has a plan. Yes, number four, it, we should say a plane has a plane. Yeah, that's the subject, a plane. Uh, a it's a plane. No, you don't have to use it. Just use uh, a plane. A plane has crashed in Russia. Ah, uh, okay. Crash. Crash. Just add it. Okay. Ah, cr crashes. Yes. Ah. Uh, 
crush it. Okay. Uh, rush. Entonces, Quedaría así, teacher, como la compartí en el chat. Let me see. Yes, a plane has crashed in Russia. That's right. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, number five. Number. Sería, they have. They have fly in a hot in her boat. Pero uh, fly creo que no, no es verbo irregular, ¿verdad? Fly is irregular. Irregular. Yes. Uh, Se me ha olvidado el verbo irregular de, de fly. So that would be fly blue blonde. 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 Yes. Sería de has flown. Exactly. They has flown in a hot air balloon. No sé cómo se pronuncia el balloon. 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 Pero in, no, no es how. No, no va, no va how con de. It says they. Yeah, they have. Ah, have. They have. Oh, have. They have. Oh. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. They have flown in a hot air balloon. Okay, they have flown in a hot air balloon. Thank you. Okay. She has broke. She has broken a uh, world record. They are roto record mundial. Exactly. That's how it goes. Broken. Our record. Okay. And Welcome back. And um, do you have any questions about any of the sentences? No questions. No questions. Okay, so in that case, we are going to check them tomorrow. And let me just remember, uh, I mean, remind you that this is our last week of classes. Therefore, you need to finish with that work in the platform as soon as you can. So please keep on working. Remember that we have until Thursday to finish at least or to complete at least the 80% of the work in the platform. Please just keep on working and uh, hopefully you finish just before Thursday, okay? Okay, so teacher. Okay, teacher. Go for today's class. Take care. Have a good okay. night. Okay. Have a good okay. night, teacher. Uh, see, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Happy night.